Two Palestinian teenagers walk amid the rubble of last year's Israeli military offensive. Nader and Ahmed are cousins. While they may look like ordinary 16-year-olds, they say they are not normal Palestinian boys. My haircut and clothing makes me look like a boy, Ahmed says, but on the inside, I am a girl. To fix that, he adds, I need a sex change operation. Nader and Ahmed were born with a rare birth defect called male pseudo-hermaphrodism. Hormone deficiencies left their male reproductive organs deformed and buried deep within their abdomens. At birth, doctors identified Nader and Ahmed as girls because they appeared to have female genitalia. So they both spent the first 16 years of their lives dressing and acting like girls. Until last summer, Ahmed went by the female first name, Ola. But last June, with the support of their families, both cousins transformed themselves into boys. Ahmed and Nader transferred on the same day, says Nader's father. They cut their hair, changed their clothing, and switched to a boys' school. There are an unusually high number of male pseudo-hermaphrodite births in the Gaza neighborhood of Jabalia, in part, doctors say, because it is customary in this socially conservative society for cousins to marry each other. Here, here is the problem. Dr. Jihad Abudeya says he has diagnosed nearly 80 cases like Ahmed and Nadir's in the last seven years. A few of them will be discovered if they have intelligent doctor or nurse will be discovered early, but some of them, unfortunately, it will be, uh, they will be discovered late, when they are about uh, more than 14 years, when they, uh, when they are living as a female and they don't have menstruation. Sex differentiation is a recurring disorder in Ahmed and Nader's extended family. You all have the same condition? Yeah. Nader's older brother Midian and his 32-year-old cousin Amin were also born with the condition. When we first started the transfer, we were too afraid to leave the house, Nader says. Amin taught us how to go out in the street and mingle with the other guys. The neighborhood where this family lives still bears the scars of last year's Israeli bombing campaign. These troubled Palestinians say the war-torn Gaza Strip just doesn't have the medical facilities they need to treat their condition. All four Palestinians want help to get sex change operations, complicated and expensive procedures which they say are not available in Gaza. Without the operation, we can't live normal lives, they say. The government won't give us male identity cards allowing us to continue our education until we get the surgery. Until then, Nader and Ahmed say their genders and their identities will remain in conflict, much like the land around them. Ivan Watson, CNN, Gaza.